Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm going to show you how to make a latte or cappuccino with these two Ninja coffee makers. So if you've got one of these coffee makers, you may have noticed there's this brew called Specialty Brew. And on this one, it's down here, it's called Specialty Brew. It's called a four ounce concentrated. The same holds true for both of these coffee makers. So we're going to brew a, um, a Specialty Brew and then we're going to froth some milk with these onboard frothers. Both of them have the exact same onboard frother. So what I'm showing you for one, you can do for the other. I'm going to be using this machine today, the iced, the hot and cold machine. Okay, so first let's turn the selector down to specialty. You'll notice in specialty, it does away with all of the selector up here because it's going to brew a four ounce concentrated coffee. This four ounce concentrated coffee is going to mimic an espresso shot. And if you look at your scoop, there is a specialty is two big scoops. So two big scoops for four ounces of, of water being brewed through it. That's a really strong coffee. Now today I'll be using the Starbucks espresso roast ground coffee. This is ground at a medium grind for like a coffee maker. That's, that's what you should use is like coffee maker coffee, not like a really fine powder espresso grind. You should be using like a medium grind. Now, the darker the roast, it tastes better. You can use a breakfast blend, a medium roast. Those all work just fine in here, but to get a really concentrated dark coffee that goes smooth with, with milk, a dark roast or a French roast works the best. Okay, so you're gonna put your coffee in just like you were making coffee. I'm gonna put two of these big scoops. If you really want a concentrated coffee, you could put even three scoops, but two scoops is just right for me. Okay, so the coffee's in. Okay, I got the little fold down trays on and I got a, a mug here. This holds about 11 and a half ounces. That's about the right size. So we've got the coffee maker on, we've got it on specialty, just hit start. Now these specialty brews don't take a, a super long time. While that's brewing, we can get the milk ready. I like to use 2% milk. Whole milk works the best, but you can use almond milk and skim milk, but you don't need much. So we're gonna pour it into a container that you can heat it up in a microwave. So I like to do four ounces of milk. Okay, so our really strong coffee, our specialty brew is brewing. It's gonna be really hot and really concentrated. Both these machines brew it exactly the same. Okay, so I'm gonna warm the milk up in the microwave for about a minute. And while that's in the microwave, our specialty brew is about done. That's all, that's four ounces of coffee right there. That's a really concentrated dark coffee. Okay, so be careful not to burn the milk, but I got the milk right at, you wanna get it right around 180. So I'm gonna put it in there just a little bit more. So I love these Ninja uh, coffee makers. I love these frothers. They're very easy to clean, but I wish it heated the milk. But so you do have to heat the milk up yourself. So you're just gonna put it in and you're gonna, you're gonna start um, frothing the milk and then you want to just keep the frother right below the top of the surface and this is going to take a while so don't put it at the very bottom of the of the container keep it right below the surface of the milk that adds air while it's frothing because what you want to do is add air to the milk and that's what gives it the foam and the kind of the creaminess so you'll have to keep moving the container down as the froth gets higher and higher in the glass. So I wanna see if I can show you this. If you take your time, it makes, it makes some really good foam and a really creamy milk. Just kinda of keep it right below the surface and you'll see it kinda of sucking air in. Kinda of like you're stirring paint. Okay, so you can see that four ounces expanded and it's now 12 ounces. So now get your concentrated coffee, your specialty brew, and you can go ahead and pour this in there now. You're gonna have some hot milk in the bottom, which is fine, but you'll have that nice foam for the top. And that's just a really good, so the frother works very good and the specialty brew works good too. Here's a look at the other side. You can add a little bit of syrup, add a little vanilla or caramel syrup. And again, cleanup is very simple. This just turns off. You can put this in the dishwasher, rinse it off really good. So with a little bit of work, you can make a really nice drink. 
These things also make really nice coffee. Check out my other videos. I've got detailed videos on how to make coffee, how to make over ice. And again, both these coffee makers will do the exact same thing. Thanks everybody for watching. If you could, please like and subscribe.